So today we're going to talk about hydration. In this case, we have base catalyzed hydration, meaning we have a ketone reacting with base to form a hydrate. Remember, a ketone is an R group bonded to a carbonyl, and a hydrate here is going to be R bonded to another carbon, another R group, and to alcohol groups. So this is a hydrate. Now let's draw the mechanism for this reaction. Notice that we want to get rid of this carbonyl. So since this is base catalyzed hydration, I'm going to start by taking my base and attacking the bottom side of this carbonyl, thereby pushing this up. We now have an O minus charge and an OH group. And the second step is to take our water to protonate that minus oxygen. It's going to attack here, thereby creating our first product is the hydrate. Now for acid catalyzed hydration, it's the same idea where we start with a ketone and end with the hydrate, but this time we're reacting with acid instead of base. So an acid here is going to generate hydronium, and then I'm going to protonate this oxygen, thereby generating this intermediate. A water is going to come down here that we just generated and attack the bottom side of this carbon eel, thereby pushing this double bond upwards. So now we have an OH and a water group that we're going to deprotonate once more with our water deprotonate one of these protons and we create our final product which again is the hydrate. Now an important tip I have for you for hydrates is to match the conditions. So when you're drawing the mechanism only include the species that realistically exist under those specific reaction conditions. Meaning when you're doing acidic conditions only use strong acid. When you're in basic conditions, only use strong base. In acidic mechanisms, avoid strong bases. And in basic mechanisms, avoid strong acids. Okay, here's our first example. We're going to start with formaldehyde here and generate a hydrate. Now, is this in basic conditions or acidic conditions? Drop it down in the comments. So we got to draw the mechanism. So the first step is I'm going to react with, in this case here, we have a base. That means that this is under basic conditions. Remember, we have our base here that's going to act as a nucleophile and attack the bottom side of that carbonyl. We now have an aldehyde with an alcohol attached, but we got to just protonate that. So I'm going to protonate using water, and that's going to generate our hydrates as our final product. Okay, now it's time for you to try this out. So here we have acetaldehyde, and we're generating our hydrate as the final product. First question for you, is this an acid or base catalyzed hydration? Drop it down in the comments. And let's see what the answer is to the mechanism. If you're on TikTok, take a screenshot and drop it down in the comments.